Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print envelopes for a mail merge. Now, when you're working with a mail merge, you're always going to be working with two documents. You're going to be working with a document called your main document, and the second document is called your data document. The data document is the Word document or the Excel spreadsheet that contains all of the mailing information for the mail merge. If you've never set up a data document before, we have a video that will show you how to create a data document in either Word or Excel. Very simple to do. In the case of envelopes, you need to set up that data document, but your main document is just going to be a plain blank document like what we see here. And that's what you want open when you begin the uh, merge, not the data document. So I'm going to begin by going to here to the mailings tab and clicking start mail merge. Now you may accidentally come over here to envelopes or labels. This, this option right here is for printing an individual envelope or an individual label. If you want to do a whole bunch of envelopes for an entire mail merge, that's when you click here on start mail merge. So I'm going to go ahead and click that right there and I'm going to select envelopes. And when you do that, you're going to go ahead and come here to the Envelope Options dialog box. And you simply choose the size of envelope that you're going to be printing to. You can also set up the spacing for the return address as well as the delivery address and choose the font that you're working with. I would recommend leaving these alone on auto because they're set up for the, uh, the default is set up for the exact parameters that the post office wants these two particular information pieces of information to be so that they can scan the envelope easily. So again, I would leave this alone here. Just choose the size of envelope that you're working with. And when you, you're going to notice that when I click OK, this document becomes a very small document. It's now the size of the envelope that I chose. Now we're going to come here to select recipients and we're going to use an existing list. And this is where we go find the um, address list that you entered into Word or Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and come here to my desktop and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down into mail merge class files. And there's a Word address list. And again, if you haven't worked with a data document before, we have a short video that will show you how to set up a data document for a mail merge in either Word or Excel. So I selected that and clicked open and now I'm going to go ahead and I can enter in the return address right here which I can simply type this information out again you can type whatever information you want in there if it's a pre-printed envelope obviously you won't be putting any of that information in there but if it's not you can just simply type the information in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click in this main area here and that's where I want the delivery address to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click there and I'm going to click on address block. I choose the style for the name and then click OK. So now we're ready to go ahead and preview and see the way these envelopes are going to look. So I'm going to click on preview results there and you'll see I've got a sample envelope. And again with the preview it's just going to show you one envelope. If this looks the way you want it, all you have to do is come here to finish and merge and say edit individual documents and OK and it will create all the envelopes for your mail merge. Again if I scroll down here you're going to see all the envelopes there. So that's all there is to creating envelopes for a mail merge.